What's up everybody? So I'm at Crown Honda with the all new 2016 10th generation Honda Civic. Huge shout out to Crown Honda for allowing me to come down here and make this video. You can check out their website in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and like our Facebook page. And the particular model that we're looking at today is a touring model finished in White Orchard. The hood of the Touring model is a 1.5 liter turbocharged intercooled four cylinder engine that produces 174 horsepower at 6,000 RPMs and 162 foot pounds of torque from 1,700 to 5,500 RPMs. And the turbocharger on this engine produces 16.5 psi. And there also is the naturally aspirated engine available with 158 horsepower and 138 foot pounds of torque. The engine is paired to a CVT transmission, sending the power to the front wheels. And for fuel economy, you would expect the Civic to get very good gas mileage. The turbo engine with this transmission gets 31 city and 42 highway. For the wheels, this features 17 inch wheels in all four corners with a very nice gloss black and machine silver look. Has disc brakes in all four corners with ventilated discs up front measuring 11.1 .1 inches. And then for the rear, you get 10.2 solid rear discs. The curb weight of the vehicle is between 27 and 2,900 pounds, depending on the transmission and engine option you go for. It also has 15.1 cubic feet of cargo space, and the overall length is 182 inches with a height of 55.7 inches. Starting with the front end of the vehicle, this has a very bold and aggressive look, extremely modern and updated compared to the previous generation Civic. I see a lot of Acura in it, especially with the large chrome section in the grille. Definitely has a premium look for being an entry level compact car. And down in the center grille you can also see the intercooler, which is pretty cool to see for a Honda Civic. The Touring also features fog lights and LED daytime running lights. And you have the LED turn signal on the side mirror as well. The overall profile is much different than the typical Civic. Again, like the front end, it has very nice lines, very updated looking. And then coming along the rear, it has a nice little lip spoiler and a very aggressive design for the rear taillights. This also features chrome door handles with chrome trim along the top of the windows. You also get a power sunroof, part of the touring package, and then a camera on the passenger side mirror. And now with the key fob, we'll go ahead and take a look at the interior. And using the key, if you lock the vehicle and then hold down the start-stop button, you can remotely start and stop the engine. And with the key in my pocket, I'll go ahead and tap the black button. On the door handle, you can lock and unlock it, and we'll go ahead and check out the inside. And the car will automatically unlock once you place your hand in the door handle. The door panel is finished off with some very nice soft touch plastics, as well as some beige leather in the center with white stitching. You have all four of your window controls with automatic front windows, and then your trunk button down below, and then some nice storage space down below here. Part of the touring, you do get leather seating with the black stripe in the center, which has a really cool contrasting look to it. Very nice leather on them with eight-way power adjustments and heated seats. And now inside the car, I'll go ahead and just double tap the start stop button to turn on all the electronics. And then with my foot on the brake, I'll go ahead and start the engine.
Once you're inside the vehicle, you're greeted by a very nice digital display with attack and speed in the center, engine temperature on the left, and fuel level on the right. You have a very nice leather wrapped steering wheel with white stitching on it, all your Bluetooth and audio controls on the left side, and then all of the cruise control on the right. On the left side here, you have your traction control, lane keeping assist, and your forward collision warning button. You have the nice air vents up top. And then coming along the center, you have the two vents here with the seven inch touchscreen navigation display. You can go through all the different settings with navigation and audio, and then your climate button here. You can change your fan speed. And this does have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the temperatures on each side. Then you have your recirc button, your front and rear defroster, and then the heated seat settings with three different temperatures. And then down below you have your leather shift knob with the leather boot here with the electronic park and brake, and then your eco button. And when you put the car into reverse, there's a little trigger back here you pull. In reverse, the camera will automatically pop up. And then using the left stock, when you do your right turn signal, the camera will show up there. And on the button here, if you just press that button, it'll also show what's in your blind spot. And for the center console, if you take the armrest and just pull it right back, it'll expose the second cup holder. And then there's now a handle where you can grab this up and get some more space down here. And this piece will slide forwards and back as well. And actually go all the way forward. So it's a pretty nice design how that all works. And then for a little more storage, you get a nice spot in front of the shifter and then a nice portion down here with the USB and power outlet. Now we'll just take a quick look at the interior. The leather and different plastics and trims is very nice in this car. Very upscale, you wouldn't expect this to just be a Honda Civic. It seems like Honda has really revamped this car to be a premium vehicle. Now we'll take a look at the glove box. Nice space back in there. And you get some nice colors along the dash as well. And then up top you have your automatic dimming mirror, your different center of controls, and then of course you can open up the shade. And then to exit the vehicle you grab the very nice ergonomic designed door handles and open the door. And now we'll take a look at the rear seats. You get leather seats back here of course, and the door panels are pretty similar to the front ones. A little storage spot in the front here. And then inside the car you do get Heated seats down here, which is very cool to see in rear seats. And plenty of leg room. Very comfortable in here with a lot of headroom as well. And this is a five seater car, and you have the centerpiece that'll fold down as well, has an armrest and a cup holder. Now you can get a better look at the entire dashboard. Very updated and modern, and extremely premium feeling. And now to take a look at the trunk, you can either open it by using the button on the key fob, the button back here, or the button on the door. And this does have 15.1 cubic feet of cargo space. Definitely plenty of storage here, and the rear seats do fold down flat. And then another view of the entire interior. And the very nice looking seats. The all new Honda Civic is a huge improvement over the previous generation with awesome styling, large amount of standard and premium features, and a turbocharged engine that is very economical with great performance. So there you go everybody, that is the walk around and review of the all new 10th generation Honda Civic. Huge shout out once again to Crown Honda for providing the vehicle for today's video. I am blown away with this car, awesome standard features, I love the leather interior, everything on the inside is very premium and upscale, it's definitely not a typical Honda Civic anymore. So thank you all for watching, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and like our Facebook page. I'll see you all next video.